Welcome, this is the Object Oriented System Analysis and Design video series. In this video, I'm going to talk about use case diagrams. Mainly, the use case diagram are very important diagrams in UML diagrams. So, let's talk about use case diagrams. So, mainly, the use case diagrams are um, part of the UML diagrams. There are two types of UML diagrams, which are structural and behavioral diagrams. So these use case diagrams are one of the behavioral diagrams, which represent the behavior or the structure, or the processes of the application. So in the unified modeling languages, a use case diagram can summarize the details of the system, systems here, users and the users or the actors and their interactions with the systems so then it not uh, but it is not the exact method of making it happen but it will represent most of the processes then it will be very easy to take an understanding about this application which is going to build it also very helpful to design a system from the end user's perspective then it will be very effective way to create a application when we move on to the next one the use case diagrams usually is very simple ones but it does not show all the details of the system or the application but it only summarizes the sum of the relationships between a uh, use case actors and the whole system but it does uh, other one is that it does not show the order of the steps or the process it is uh, just the relationships or the processes between all use cases so it is very simple one so then there are some places that we can propose this use case diagram to improve the process of the system so we when we can specify the context of the system and we can propose this system to capture the requirements of the system very easily because when we create the use case diagram it will be very easy to capture the requirements by looking at the use case diagram and to validate a system architecture then it when we draw this use case diagram it will clearly show the architecture of this application that we that we need to de develop so and we can again use this use case diagrams in, to drive implementations and generate test cases then we can test case we can uh, create test cases by looking at the use case diagram to each part then it will be very easy to manage the test cases as well and to manage errors or some bugs that we will come on the application and then we can look at the basic components of the UML diagrams or the basic components of the use case diagrams these are only the basic components but there are quite a few other components so first one is the actors system and goals and the actors actors means the users that uh, interact with the system they can be anyone between uh, they can be a person or a, or a machine or something but all the user or the admin they all are the actors because they are interacting with the system they are outside of the system so actors mean all the users admin also a user so actors means those persons or the machines or something and system system is a specific sequence of action actions and interactions between actors and the system so system is the whole main process of the uh, application and uh, a system may be also referred to a scenario some some scenario and the goal is the end of the result in the most cases but a successful diagram should describe the activities and the variance used to reach the goals as well but and those are the main things so then we can see some basic symbols of this use case diagrams we can see the use case use case are depicting from these kind of oval shaped symbols we can write the use case um, the use case what is the use case inside of this oval and we can set some multiple some kind of use cases in this one so this is the symbol of an actor you can depict the actor symbol like this way and we can show the whole system inside of a rectangle then we can uh, put the use cases in this system inside of this system we can put the actors outside of the system then there's a example in the end of this video then it will be very clear about this use case diagrams so these are the uh, include and extend so these are very important in this use case diagram it will show relationships between use cases in some places other ones also 
using in those using will use case diagrams but most of the time use cases actors system and include extend commun commun communicate so you those are the main features that always using in those use case diagrams and now i'm going to show a example for a user scenario which is an online application online shopping application uh, which i have created a use case diagram for a online application scenario so i'm going to show that example so this is the example for the online shopping application for the given scenario it was given to access the all cart and add shopping cart or the view shopping cart update shopping cart all the things and search product we an item so we likewise those are the main use cases in this application so this is the whole system which is on the rectangle and those are the actors actors i have separated the actors into two categories which is the web customer is the main one and there are two separate ones registered customers and new customers and on the other side there's the admin part who's the control in this system or the main observer or the lookout of this uh, this application then first it has the registered customers can uh, check out the products and display the bill okay they can see the bill and they can view the shopping cart and they can add products to the shopping cart and they can update product update from products from the shopping cart and they can search the products yeah, in here the new customers or the unregistered customers also can view the products or the search product and registered customers can log in but new customers should register the application in order to access the all other uh, facilities without check out uh, view shopping cart and to shopping cart all the thing then uh, the other side the admin can add order into the system when the shopping cart the user added to the shopping cart and they purchase it then they can add the order into the system and they can view the order then they can search in orders in the system then that is uh, not visible to the user but they can admin can access that those things in the product section then users can search the products and admins can add products and delete products, view products, search products, then they can do all the things in the back end back side of this application or the other side of this application. So that is the main uh, use case diagram of this online shopping application. And this is a very simple one actually. There's no any uh, relationships between main relationship between those uh, use cases but that is the whole system of this application and that is it for this video and thank you for watching.